Hey guys, this is a therapist task guide for pets won't need it. For this task, you have to locate and scout the vet clinic and the x-ray technician's room on streets of Tarkov and then survive an extract from the location. So for the task, you will need the x-ray room key, which can be found in the pockets and bags of scavs, as well as in jackets or in drawers, or you can always buy it from the flea market if you're unable to find it in raid. However, now with the addition of this new task, it has definitely increased the price of the key exponentially. Whereas before the task was added, you could buy the key for between 30 and 60k rubles. And now, as you can see, that's not the case. So here's a map of streets and then the areas where we do have to go for this task are going to be inside of the expansion of patch 13.5. So we have to go to the second floor of the x-ray building, then second floor of the veterinary clinic. And then my PMC will be starting just outside the check 15 building in an area that we are familiar with. So I'm here on streets right now. And as a point of reference, this is the check 15 building. And then here's the big Spurge grocery store. We will be heading into one of these streets expansion areas right down this way. And we are going to take our first right after this iron fence, where we will continue down this street to this blue van, which is sitting right in front of the x-ray building. This is one of the two buildings where we do have to go for this task. And then another landmark for you guys is that this huge mural is on the building just next to the x-ray building. So going into the x-ray building from this entrance, you do have to go up the stairs twice and then into the door on your left, which does spawn closed. Once you go through this door, then you will head down the hallway to the second door on your right which also spawns closed and this will bring you into an x-ray room where you will also notice another door this is the room that we do have to go into for this task unfortunately this room is locked and does require the x-ray room key which by the time that i'm posting this video will probably be quite expensive i did try to see if you could set off the subtask and then avoid buying the key however it doesn't seem like you can do that since the subtask only completes when you're about halfway into the room after you complete this part, then we will move on to the vet clinic part. So we will go out the back door of this x-ray building so that you guys can see that you can also enter in via this door as well. And we are going to turn left. So we are going to run along this building on our right until you get to the end of it where you will see another blue van. We are going to go past the blue van and across the road where you will see another building that's slightly on your right. This is where the vet building is located. And so we are going to go in through the front door and then turn to our left where you should notice a staircase. You're going to go up to the second floor and then take another left where you will see some animal housing units. We're going to go into the back room where there's more housing units. And then you will also find a rubber chicken that is kind of suspended from the roof. As you make your way up to the rubber chicken, then you should get a subtask complete, and then you will be good to go and extract from the raid. You do have to find both locations and survive an extract in the same raid. If you do happen to die on your way to extract after finding both locations, you will have to come back and then find them again and then extract successfully. So hopefully you guys found this task guide useful and it did help you to complete this task. If you are still here at the end of the video, then I definitely appreciate you. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community that would probably be the easiest way to do so and if you do come over to the twitch and you want to join the discord community then just type exclamation point discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link and if you don't use twitch then i do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day